Welcome to this demo on CourseBox, the AI-powered learning management system that simplifies e-learning. Click on the pen button menu in the top left corner of your portal. Replace the default LMS logos with your organization's logo. This is usually the first step in making the platform feel like it's truly yours. Align the color scheme with your organization's brand colors. This includes background colors, button colors, and text colors. The login page is often the first point of contact for your learners. To customize it, click on the drop-down in the top right corner and then click on Pages. Add custom images, welcome messages, or any other branding elements that resonate with your organization's identity and the login experience that you would like to provide. It includes a full HTML editor so you can add any text or visuals that you would like. Click on each of the pages in the menu in the top right corner to go through editing and branding each of the pages. If you have a custom domain name that you would like to connect to instead of having coursebox.ai in your LMS portal URL and have not yet connected it to Coursebox, get in touch with us to get this set up. You will need to own or otherwise buy your domain name from a hosting provider such as GoDaddy first before we can help you set this up. Choose from over 900 available languages. Enter a few words describing your course. You have the option of training the AI on additional content by uploading your files, website links, or YouTube videos. Enter the duration. And finally, the audience. Now let Coursebox AI generate your course design. You can see the AI has written a title, description, objectives, tags, as well as the structure of your course broken down into lessons, topics, and quizzes. Make edits to the text if you would like to, or alternatively redo your entire prompt for a whole new course design. For extra customization of your course structure before prompting the AI, make edits in the advanced settings by clicking on the settings icon. Once you're ready to work on the content of your course, click Save and generate your lessons. If you decide to leave this box ticked, the course box AI will create a draft for every single one of your topics, including the quizzes. You'll need to wait a few minutes to let the AI do its thing, but once it's complete, you will see that content has been created for each of your topics. Make whatever edits you need to the structure and the content of the course. Make it visual by uploading or embedding videos and images or attach some of your existing files like slides. Need to add more lessons and topics to your course and want AI to help create the content again. Simply click on the AI Writer button to let AI write a draft for you within the editor for either text or quizzes. Preview your course in the Learner view and when you're ready, Go ahead and hit the Publish button. Make your course private, public, or even paid if you want. Share the course as a link or embed it as an iframe on your website. Learners also have the option of using the mobile app. You can add them to the course by sending them the link, importing them via a CSV with their email address, or using an automation or integration with one of your other systems via Zapier. When a course is published as private, Learners will see a Request Access button on the course if they have not been added as a learner yet. They'll need to click on this button, and as an admin, you can approve or deny their request. You can avoid the Request Access step by ticking the box VIP Only or Course Boxer Only. If you enable this, the learner will not be able to request access through Course Box, though, unless you have already added them to the course. There is also an option for marking your course as SEO friendly, which will allow search engines like Google to show your course in search results. This is a great option to keep ticked if you are selling your course or want as much exposure to the public for your course page as possible. Make a customized branded certificate that will automatically be issued to anyone who completes your course. Selling training courses can be a great way to monetize your expertise in a certain area. Click on the Publish button and select Publish as Paid. A pop-up should appear where you can follow the prompts to sell your course. Link your Stripe account first if you have not done this yet. Linking your card is only for purchasing courses, so does not apply here. Linking your card will not allow you to sell courses. Only linking Stripe will. If you do not have a Stripe account, then you will need to set one up to get through this step. Once you have successfully linked your Stripe account, the button will say Unlink Stripe.
Click on the Publish button. You should see the price and currency you have set on the Overview or Publish Settings page. Groups are a fantastic way to organize your learners, foster collaboration, and tailor the learning experience to specific cohorts. If you have a rich catalog of courses and are continuously releasing new content, consider offering a subscription model. Learners can pay a recurring fee for access to a vast array of courses. To begin setting up a group in CourseBox, navigate to the Groups section in the left menu and click on New. A setup page will appear, allowing you to name your group, provide a description, and set any other relevant parameters. Once you've filled in the details, click Save. Now, to add learners to your group, there's a section labeled Add Members. Here, you can either manually input email addresses of the learners or share a unique group link, which they can use to join. With your group formed and members added, it's time to associate courses. Navigate back to your list of courses and select the one you wish to add. On the Course Overview page, you'll find an option labeled Add to Group. Click on it, search for your group's name, and select it. Confirm your choice, and the course is now linked to your group. Repeat this process for any other courses you wish to associate with the group. You can also set up profile images for your group and send messages out through the group newsfeed. Within the Reports section, you can view data on course enrollments, completion rates, filtering down by each learner, engagement in groups, and your newsfeeds. Diving deeper, if you select a specific course, you'll be presented with a very detailed report if you download it as a CSV. This report provides insights into individual learner progress, quiz scores, and any potential areas where learners might be facing challenges.